my prison number is 2300 and that was sewn on my uniform, shall we say. In front of us stand, stands approximately five to six German officers. What has happened, I was directed this way, and my mother, whom I held on to, directed that way. And I waved to my mother as I'm walking, because they shove you, push you to hurry up, and I said, okay, mother, I'll see you later. Unfortunately, this was the last time I saw my mother, because later on, I found out that anyone who was directed to that direction went immediately into the crematorium, into the gas chambers to be disposed of. So I often wonder, after all these years, would she have remained alive if you were not holding together? Because that was one of the other meanness that, you know, they sell somebody together and they would separate them. A group of us decided that uh, it has, it's time, we gotta do something, we got to find some way of escaping. Our life meant nothing at this point. I think that's the most important part here. So uh, the worst thing is, if they capture us, they kill us. That's it. It's very loose words if you think about the meaning of it. So anyhow, we escaped. We were near a, uh, a village area where the, uh, they had farmland. And one by one, during the night, we snuck into this barn. And the barn, we hid in manure, in straw, in an anything, because any minute we could be discovered. But lo and behold, and God bless the American uh, Army, they found us the next day about, uh, about 24 hours after. And that's how I was liberated. 